Hello guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about the valve symbols that are used in PNIDs. So guys, this video will be very important for the people who find difficulty in reading the PNIDs. So guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the valve symbols that are used in PNIDs. So moving on to the First valve that is the gate wall. So guys, this is the most important and common wall that is used everywhere. So in PNIDs, if you if you find a symbol like this, this, this symbol stands for a gate wall. So this is the most common wall that is used in uh, most of the industries or in ev any every industry. So this symbol stands for the gate wall. And there are two more symbols. If the uh, if the valve symbol is this way dark blackish in color, it means it stands for the valve is closed and if the valve it is not black from inside that means the valve is in open position so this dark darkest blackish inside uh, stands for closed for each and every valve that is op that stays open and closed and if it is not black from inside that means valve is open and it is common for every valve further to it guys if there are two lines behind this valve symbol so this stands that your valve is flanged so the end connection of a wall will be flanged. If there is nothing uh, besides the wall symbol, that means that the wall which is shown in PNID, it is a threaded wall. Further, if there are two dots on the end of the wall, it stands that your wall will be welded. So guys, these symbols, they are very basic and they basically design uh, uh, vary from designer to designer. But most logically or most commonly the symbol, the basic symbol remains the same. So there may be minute changes, but basic symbol remains same. So I hope you would have seen the gate wall symbol and uh, let's begin to our, move forward to our next wall. So our next wall is guys ball wall. So if there is a valve symbol and there is this ball, ball type of sign inside the valve, this symbol stands for your ball wall. So if you in any PNID uh, see this type of symbol with a ball inside the valve body, it stands for the ball wall. And so similarly uh, for the open position, as I told earlier, there will be uh, no blackish blackness inside it. And if the valve body is shown blackish inside, it means the valve is closed. And uh, other other way, if the, if the lines are shown across the ball the valve. It is a flange type. If uh, if two lines are shown, it is a threaded type. And I, as I again uh, told you for the uh, gate walls, if there are two dots that are shown uh, besides the symbol, it is a welded connection. So guys, uh, these type of connections again, I am telling you, they may have a difference between designer to designer or a company to company. But basic symbol of your walls will remain the same. So moving to the next slide, let's see. How a glow wall looks like. So a glow wall basically, uh, if there is a blackish dot, a dot which is filled with black color, is shown inside your uh, valve. It is your glow wall. So the basic difference between glow wall and a ball wall is there will be a blackish dot inside a wall. Then it will be a glow wall. And if there is a circle shown inside a wall, that symbol stands for your ball wall. Again, if the valve is blackish inside, it stands for your valve is closed. And if it is not colored from inside, it means that your valve is in open condition. Further, if it if two lines are shown um, besides the wall symbol, it is your flanged connection. If nothing is shown, it is your threaded connection. And if two dots are shown, it is your welded connection. For guys, for all these walls, we have a separate videos uh, on our YouTube channel. So you may uh, we'll go to our wall, uh, walls playlist and watch all these videos on walls. Moving on to the next, uh, next is your butterfly wall. So these are this is also a common wall that is that founds its practice, its application in every industry and in every section we see this wall. So if there is this uh, 45 degree inclined line with a dot inside, this type of symbol is for butterfly wall. Again, again, uh, if you see, uh, there is a, a slight change in the symbol, but this dot and this 45 degree inclined line remains same. So 
I'm telling you, as I'm told you that from designer to designer, there may be a little change in the symbols, but the basic symbol remains the same. So you can see the basic symbol is this 45 degree inclined line with a dot. This means this is a butterfly wall. Again, if it is having two flanges, it is your flange type connection. If it is having nothing besides the wall body, it is your threaded or screwed connection. And if two dots are shown, it is your welded connection. So guys, this is the basic uh, symbol that is found in PNIDs for your butterfly walls. Moving on to the next wall, the next wall is your check wall or your known return walls. So guys, for known return walls, you can see there is this 45 degree angle, but the symbol or this dot, it is shown at the edge. And in butterfly walls, it was in the middle of the line. So basically, this is the difference between your ball wall, uh, sorry, butterfly wall and a non-return wall. So again, I, you can see the, in this symbol, there is this dot here. And in some companies or in some designer shows an arrow here. But this doesn't make the difference. Both of these symbols, they stand for your non-return wall or check wall. Again, this is the arrow which is showing your non-return walls. If two lines are against it, and this is your uh, flange connection if nothing is shown this is your threaded connection and if two dots are shown this stands for your welded connection so so this these are the basic symbols you know that doesn't change uh, from industry to industry or from organization to organization there may be slight changes but basic basicity of the symbol remains same moving on to the next and last wall for our today's video is your needle wall so basically you would all be knowing that needle walls they are used in your instrumentation application or where a tight shut off is required so in place of uh, your butterfly walls uh, needle walls are also practiced in mainly in hazardous service where you can't allow leakage so this is how a needle wall looks like so for needle wall again you can see there is a arrow that is showing downwards this symbol is for needle wall so in uh, uh, most of the designer don't change the symbol for needle walls and again if your wall body is it is shown blackish inside it stands for closed and if it is hollow or no color is shown inside it stands for your wall will stay in open condition. If two lines are beside the walls it is your flanged connection. If nothing is shown this is your threaded or screwed connection and if two dots are shown this will be your welded connection. So guys here i have tried to cover uh, the walls that are most commonly found uh, in the industry and in most from commonly used in industry and found in european ids so uh, if you want me to cover more walls you can tell me in the comment section so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video thanks a lot